So hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Kettle. I'm from the School of Electronics at Bangor University. And the topic of our talk is electrical characterization of gallium oxide shock diodes for deep UV sensing applications. So as an introduction, I, I will introduce why gallium oxide is an interesting material at the moment. The material system has been around for many years, but it's gained a lot of recent attention for applications in UV sensors and power electronics. So as the band gap is around 4.9 electron volts, it's ideal for Sen ideal for sensing in a deep UV and it appears relatively stable under these radiation conditions. So it's also got, also got very good electrical behavior which is why it's used a lot in power electronics and its performance at high temperatures is also very good. The focus of this presentation is on UV sensing and most of the sensing data was acquired at around about 250 nanometers. So shown here is a schematic of the devices reported in this presentation. They were made onto gallium oxide uh, wafer material and what is particularly interesting about these devices is that both the ohmic and the shock key contacts were made using the same titanium gold electrodes um, and, and annealed within a rapid firm annealer at 400 degrees centigrade. So shown here is the performance of our shock key diodes. You can see very clear rectification behavior in this graph on the left hand side with turn on voltage at around about uh, 0.7 volts. The performance in this case is not particularly good because we chose to use PVD deposit of gallium oxide rather than epitaxial material. Nevertheless, we get, we've measured good shock key device performance and we, we can, um, a number of different approaches can be used to actually calculate uh, characteristics such as the diode ideality factor and the shock key barrier height and these are in quite good agreement. So in terms of sensing performance, the metrics um, are discussed a little bit later, but you can see here is the rise time and the decay time of our photodetector we can see that both the rise time and the decay time are, are relatively similar at 20 seconds each. So actually one of the most interesting properties we found was when we coupled two of these shock key diodes together. Um, so in this case, we have a single ohmic contact joined between two, two, two diodes. So by coupling these two diodes together, we see a dramatic increase in the photodetector performance. The performance is actually very dependent upon what the voltage is on that third electrode, but we see a, around about 200 times increase in the responsivity. When we start measuring um, characteristics such as the external quantum efficiency and the responsivity, we see very big increases as, as a result of this um, third electrode. So it's probably worth discussing why this big increase is achieved by coupling two diodes together. Really, we, we, we see it's as a result of the internal electric field or internal electric potential difference is impacted by the presence of the third electrode. And the third electrode creates a potential gradient between the shock and the ohmic contact leading to an increased depletion region width and an increase in electron hole pair formation before they recombine. So just some conclusions, the performance um, of planar gallium oxide shock key diodes is reported. Um, we've measured the shock key barrier height at around about 0.75 electron volts. Um, but one of the main achievements is the fact that the performance has dramatically increased when we are able to um, couple two shock key diodes together. Thank you.